Hello everyone. So today I'm going to tell you a very nice trick to find the square root of non-perfect square numbers. For example, under root 19 or under root 7 or under root 10. So these kind of numbers. So I'm sure that everyone knows how to find the square root of perfect square numbers. For example, if I will ask you what is the square root of under root 16, you can blindly say within a second that your answer is 4. What is the square root of under root 5? You will say, okay, okay, your answer is 5. But in the exam, if you get this question to find the square root of under root 7, trust me, you are going to take more than 10 minutes to find the square root of under root 7. So in this video, I'm going to tell you the trick with, with, with that trick. Trust me, guys, you'll be able to find the square root of any number in between 15 to 30 seconds. Okay. So guys, if you like this video, then please support us. We need your support by and how we are going to support us just by subscribing to the channel or you can also like the video, you can share the video with your friends. Guys, see your like, your share, your comment, your subscription that motivate us to prepare more such videos. Okay, so please don't forget to subscribe and if you are and also you are free to share your suggestions. If you are having any suggestion on this video, so please share your suggestion in the comment section and I am promising you that we will work on that. Okay, so let's start with your technique. So guys, just one thing you will have to remember, I am going to tell you very nice formula. So in this video, you will have to remember that formula in this trick in order to get the answer. So that formula is like suppose under root x plus minus y is equal to under root x plus minus y upon 2 times under root x. So just remember this formula. How you are going to use this formula that I am going to tell you. Suppose you will have to find the square root of 10. Okay. So you will have to split this 10 in such a form that it will become either, either x plus y or x minus y. So first find out what is the nearest number which is a perfect square. What is the nearest number to 10 which is a perfect square? So nearest number to 10 which is a perfect square is 9. So I can write it like this 9 plus 1. Correct? So put that in the formula. Now your x is your 9, y is your 1. So this will become under root 9 plus. So see plus minus I have written because here like suppose you if you will have to do the same thing for under root uh, uh, 8. So in this case, what you will do? You will do under root 9 minus 1, correct? So in this case, minus will come. In this case, plus will come. So whatever, if the minus is there, put here minus. If plus is there, put here plus. So this will become under root 9 plus y. What is your y? 1. So under root 9, 1 upon 2 root x means 2 multiplied by under root 9. Very simple. So under root 9 is your 3 plus 1 upon 2 times 3, which, which will become 3 plus 1 upon 6. This will 6, 3 is 18 plus 1, 19 upon 6. Now divide 19 upon 6. Hope you guys know how to divide 19 upon 6. If you divide, you will get around something equivalent to 3.16. That will be your answer. You can check your answer. Okay. You, you can verify the answer with the calculator. So your answer will be 3.16. See how easy. Just you will have to remember this formula. Just you will have to memorize this formula. That's it. Okay. Uh, we will solve few more examples on this. Uh, let's take an example. For example, let's solve under root 11 now. Okay. So what, what will become under root 11? Under root 11 you can write beta under root 9 plus 2. Correct. Under root 9 plus 2 you can write under root 9 plus. Then what I have told you? Y. Y. Sorry. Uh, let me rub this. So this will be. Anyway, that will be Y. So in this case your Y, y is 2. So write here 2 upon 2 multiplied by under root 9. See 2, 2 cancel. This will become. 3 plus 1 upon 3, which is 3, 3 is a 9 plus 1, 10 upon 3. What's the value of 10 upon 3? Which is equivalent to your 3.33. That's your answer. You can check with your calculator that under root 11 is 3.33. Let's take any other example. Let's take under root 14. So what is the nearest number, which is a perfect square to 14? So nearest number to the perfect square is 16. So this I can write it beta under root 16 minus 2. Correct? So this will become under root 16 minus this 2 upon 2 times under root 16 correct so this will give you under root 16 will give you beta 4 minus this 2 and 2 will be cancelled out so i will just write it 1 upon 4 so 4 4 ja 16 16 minus 1 15 15 upon 4 which you will solve you will get your answer 3.75 so in this case you will get exact answer but you know that under root 14 
is a is an irrational number it cannot give you exact answer so in the exam you can write it under root 14 is equivalent to 3.75 guys you can check with your calculator you will get the same answer okay let me take you any other example okay so okay let me take some bigger example let's take under root 86 okay so this under root 86 what is the nearest number which is a perfect square under root 86 that's 81 correct so i can write it like this 81 plus 5 correct so this will become under root 81 plus 5 upon 2 times under root 81. So this will give me beta 9 plus 5 upon 2 times 9 which is 9 plus 5 upon 18. 18 9 ja 162, 162 plus 5 which is 167 upon 18. If you will divide your you will get your answer something 9.27 that's your answer you can check with your calculator that under root 86 is equal to 9.27 that's your answer okay guys so hope you like this video and please guys if you like this video please subscribe the channel and turn on the notification by clicking on the bell icon and that and why i'm saying you to turn on the notification because it will help you as soon as i will upload the next trick video you will be notified and you will be able to learn okay guys thank you